Now for this question, we're given a uniform lamina in the shape of a trapezium. The uniform lamina A, B, C, D, and you've got the edges, the lengths of the edges marked on here. Two meters, two meters, two meters, and four meters. And we're asked to show that the center of mass of this lamina is a distance four root three over nine meters from this edge A, B. Now the first thing you might notice is that I have turned the trapezium round from the one that we're given on the paper. I've turned it round for a reason because I believe that solving this is easier in questions where you've got an axis of symmetry. We've got an axis of symmetry along here. Let's just mark it in. And that means that the center of mass is going to lie somewhere along here. Let's just put it in, okay? We'll put it in, say, about here. So we've got to find this distance back to the edge AB. Let's call it, say, X bar, because I'm going to call this axis the X axis. And that means we've got a Y axis down through here. So let's just mark that on with a Y. Now, what we're going to do is take moments then about this axis AB. And we're going to be using the result that the mass of the whole plate, it's mo which would be centered at this point here, the moment of that mass about AB is equal to the sum of the individual moments of the various shapes that we've got here. Let's just draw some dotted lines in here. It would be the same as the moment of this triangle about AB plus the moment of the rectangle about AB plus the moment of this triangle about the edge AB. So before we get to that stage, I need to locate where the centers of mass of each of these various shapes are going to be. For the rectangle, let's give it also some other letters here. Let's say that this point here is E and this one here is F. So for this rectangle ECDF, the center of mass must lie along this line of symmetry halfway across this distance here. And we're going to need this distance. So let's see if we can get that first of all. Now. We know that it's symmetrical, and so because this is two meters and this is four meters, it must mean that this is BE is one meter. We've got one meter obviously down this end as well here, leaving us with the two meters in there. So by Pythagoras' theorem, if I was just to draw that triangle out again, the triangle BEC, okay, we'll just put it like that, okay, a bit smaller this time but we've got that this is one unit, one meter, this is two meters, and we're out to try and find this distance across here. Let's call it X. Then by Pythagoras' theorem, we should know then that X squared is equal to the, is equal to the square of the hypotenuse, that's two squared minus that shorter side squared. So you've got four minus one, which is three, so therefore, x equals root 3. So there's our distance e to c and f to d. We'll just mark it on here as root 3 meters. Okay, so we've got that. So we know that the center of mass for the rectangle ECDF is on this axis of symmetry. It's going to be at the center here and its coordinates, let's have coordinates, it would be uh, half of root 3, so it would be root 3 over 2, and then its y coordinate would be 0. So that's where the center of mass would be. What about the, where the center of mass would be for these two triangles, the one here and the one down here? Well, the center of mass always lies along a median. A median is a line, let's just put it in 
there's a dotted line from here to uh, halfway along this edge BE. So that would be a median. And so the center of mass lies on this median here. We'll mark it in. It in fact lies a third the way up this edge. But there's a quick way of finding its coordinates, which I've gone through in some of my tutorials uh, on centers of mass for triangular lambdas. If I want to know what this distance is here, this kind of x coordinate, okay, for this point, let's call it d. One quick way that we can do it is to do the mean of the coordinates of B, C, and E. So before I can do that, I need these coordinates. So let's just turn our attention to getting some coordinates for these points. Well, we now know that C, for instance, is root 3 that way, and it will be one unit up. So C's coordinates will be root 3, 1. For B, this point here, the coordinates are going to be, the x coordinate is going to be naught, and its y coordinate is going to be a total of two units up, naught two. And for E, that's going to be naught one. So we'll just put that in there as naught one. So if I want this distance D here, it's going to be the mean of all the x coordinates. I won't need the y coordinates for this problem, I just need this distance here, its x coordinate value. So I can see that d is going to equal then the mean of the x coordinates, so it will be 0 plus 0 plus root 3 all divided by 3. I'll just show the working anyway, so you've got that there, 0 plus 0 plus root 3 all divided by 3. And obviously that is root 3 over 3. Okay, so that's giving us our distance d here. And it'll be the same for this triangle down here. We're also now going to need to know the masses of each of these um, uniform lamnas, the triangle, the rectangle, and again this triangle down here. I think what I'll do, by the way, is we'll just put the mass of that particle just in there, okay, for the triangle FDA. So we need the masses then of each of these shapes. And to do that, we assume that the mass is proportional to the area. So I'm going to assume that the mass per unit area, okay, let's just mark it in, is equal to some constant. I'm going to call it big M, capital M there, okay? So for the mass of the rectangle ECDF, we can say that the mass of ECDF is going to equal the area, which is 2 multiplied by root 3, 2 root 3, that's the area. Now we need to times it by m. So that's the mass of the rectangle ECDF. What about the triangle here, BEC? We'll go for the mass of triangle BCE. So that's going to be the area, half the base times the height. Half the base, the base is 1, and the height is root 3 and we multiply that by m. So what we end up with is root 3 over 2m. Root 3 over 2m. Obviously it's going to be the same for this triangle here, FDA. When it comes to the total mass, we might as well put the total mass down. Total mass is going to be the total area multiplied by m. So you've got the area of the rectangle, 2 root 3, and then its mass will be 2 root 3m, plus the mass of that triangle, and another one. So you've got root 3m over 2, and we've got two of those triangles. 
So you can see that we've got two root 3m, these twos cancel out, and plus another root 3m, so you've got a total mass of 3 root 3m. Right, okay, we've got this far now. We've got our coordinates of the centers of mass of each of the particles. So we're in a position now to take moments about this edge AB. And so what we've got then is that essentially the moment of the total mass about AB is equal to the sum of the moments of the individual masses about AB. So we now have the total mass, 3 root 3 m, multiplied by x bar, that's its moment, is equal to the sum of these individual moments of these centers of mass. So for the triangle up here, we've got the mass of the triangle is root 3 over 2 m, and we've got to multiply it by the distance d. We found out that that distance d was root 3 over 3. So we got multiplied by root 3 over 3. And we've got two of these triangles, so we can times that by 2. What else have we got? We've got the moment of the rectangle now. So we put plus and we've got its mass, which we saw was 2 root 3m, 2 root 3m, and we need to multiply that by the distance of the center of mass back to this edge AB, and that's going to be half of root 3, so root 3 over 2. So we've got our equation now that we should be able to solve for x bar. In each of these terms, you'll notice that we have got a root 3m, so we can cancel that out. There, there, and there. All right. We can also cancel out these two twos, that one with that one, and with that one, that one, and that one. So when we tidy this up, we therefore have 3x bar equals, and for this term, got root 3 over 3, root 3 over 3, and then for this term just simply root 3. So if we group together a third root 3 and another root 3, we've got 4 thirds root 3, so therefore 3x bar is going to equal 4 thirds root 3. And it follows now that if we divide through by 3, we get that x bar, the distance to the center of mass from AB, is 4 ninths root 3. And that's what we had to show, and that would be measured in meters. Okay, so I hope it's given you some idea of certainly how I would go about doing that particular problem. Okay?